I actually wanted to talk about events in general for a long time now, mainly for personal reasons, like I am still super salty about Roblox indirectly cancelling every single seasonal event besides those terrible sponsored events that no one wants and clearly no one likes. Unfortunate, heartbreaking news that we never truly got over so please leave a like on this video and subscribe if you think Roblox egg hunts should come back. The overwhelming negativity towards sponsored events was what pushed me into talking about this today. We recently had an event and it was so heavily disliked before the event itself had even officially started Plus, I am so sorry, but I genuinely had no idea this event was even taking place until someone sent me a screenshot of the game ratings and the like to dislike ratio, so I wouldn't be surprised if I got some comments telling me the same exact thing. I am so curious on how many people actually knew this Grammy week event was happening. In all honesty, I have no idea what the worst rated event in Roblox history really is and I don't know how to find out. But if I had to take a wild guess, I would imagine this Grammy Week event game comes pretty close. The shows haven't even started and the game's rating has plummeted for Grammy Week on Roblox. Players hit this event already. Why do you think that is? The music needs to be paused on for some. I'm sorry, the random little angry emoji sitting and vibing next to some music notes is absolutely sending me. I think the event was supposed to have a concert within it but the quality of the concert and the game and the overall event in general was unbelievably bad according to what most people had been saying. As a quick little example I found this tweet from someone known as Anthony and they said so I'm pretty sure the official Grammy Roblox event is unanchored. I don't know if I'm the first to find this and I don't know if it was intentional but who who knows. Basically when you are creating a game or building something inside of Roblox Studio there is an option to anchor something. If something is unanchored it means it's not stuck down so when you publish that game or play that game anything that is unanchored will just roll around the map, you can push it with your avatar, it will move on its own like it's not going to be stuck in place. As you can see in these screenshots provided by Anthony there is three cylinder ships. I'm not entirely sure what they are supposed to be but they are just rolling around the map. They are moving freely because obviously you can see they were supposed to be stuck in place but in this server or I'm pretty sure in the entire game they were unanchored. At this point in time after the event has now ended I'm pretty sure they have now fixed it which I guess better lit than never? Is that really applicable after the event has ended? I have no idea but there is countless other glitches that people have been reporting on inside of this game whilst the event was still going on and one thing that that tells me is that this event was rushed which is definitely not the first time that this has happened. 100% I don't think it was the fault of the developers. I don't think one single person should be blaming the devs for this. Typically with the Roblox events that we we see get rushed it's usually never the fault of the developers but always the fact that Roblox will give them such short notice or they will confirm an event and start working with someone to bring us a sponsored event like a few weeks before the event is supposed to take place which obviously does not give the developers anywhere near enough time because to miss something inside of the game that was unanchored that was supposed to be anchored really is a tiny mistake that could easily be fixed but clearly it was not easily fixed it was missed by the developers and the game was published even if it was not perfect and there is a lot of glitches inside of it which I guess only points to one thing and that one thing is it was probably rushed due to not having enough time or enough notice to properly create and develop a game for this event. The percentage is getting lower and lower, it's on track to become close to one of the worst rated Roblox events of all time. According to players there are too many gramophones hidden around the map, there are also bugs and glitches galore. That's another thing, inside of this game one of the objectives is to collect 64 Grammy awards and I'm pretty sure once again they did update the game to change that to make it easier to find all 64 of them. Prior to changing that and making it easier people said that it would take 
like hours for them to find all 64 and clearly the prize for finding 64 Grammys from some random sponsored event is not going to be the best thing you have ever seen on Roblox. So wasting hours is really not something that people would prefer to do and especially when they don't care about the event or the prize. Even Dita Plays replied and said, yeah, I knew this would happen as soon as I saw the huge map and the fact that we had to find 64 Grammys throughout it, it's too much of a grind. And for someone like Adita Plays to be saying that, who typically will try to defend a lot of these Roblox events, that's how you know that this time it really was that bad. I myself didn't touch the event, but now that it has ended, seeing the game have over 2 million visits and over 14,000 dislikes with a 30% rating, people definitely did not like this event so I can say that I didn't miss anything really. So one more time please and make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe because I will always appreciate the support that you guys give me and you know what it helps me out a lot. But I'm think of one of the worst rated Roblox events of all time. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.